It's so funny to hear it. Whoa, man, that's go, incredible. She goes, come on, don't laugh. I'm having a hard time with it. I go, you're such a slave to cigarettes. He goes, well, explain to Robin your plan while you're smoking. <laughs> Wait till you hear this. I gained some weight. Yeah. Right. So I decided I wanted to lose the weight first. Then I'll stop smoking. You know these are all excuses. Yeah. Yeah, he's so full of it. And don't tell me money's an issue with you, Scott. I know he's looking for a free Nutrisystem. No, no. As usual. As usual. <laughs> and this is $19 now. Nobody has the excuse with money. Money is no longer an excuse. What's that? You smoke the patch? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lit it up. So where is the patch? He ripped it out of his arm. Yeah. He, took, he, ripped he it had out. soaked all of the nicotine out yeah, of it already. Yeah. Is that what it is? It's like a nicotine thing? Yeah, it's supposed to dispense... Nicotine? Something into your system to make you uh, yeah. get over your nicotine addiction. Ah. Uh, Scott's such a sad sack. He goes, I'm really addicted. Thank goodness you didn't ever try heroin or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he will. Oh, no, 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 no. His weight goes up. No drugs. No yeah, drugs. you know I heard cocaine is good for weight. Oh, really? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ever Scott. seen a fat crack addict? No. And away, Scott. Scott, ahead. I've never smelled you this bad. Okay. You smell like a cigarette. And you're very fat. Yes. And your breathing is completely <laughs> erratic. I'm getting okay. myself under control. Okay. I think if he had hair, he would care more about himself. Oh, you know, it's just... But he, that I doesn't just bother Think me. of that son seeing his father struggling to get off these cigarettes. I know. This kid. What an example. What a role model. Such a mess. Yes. Your baldness has become your best feature. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Poor Scott. All that hair all over your body. No <laughs> hair on your head. head yeah. it's, just, it's just frightening. <laughs> it's incredible. He's a really hairy guy. I wonder if women dig that. No. You so know, someone said to me, Scott's going to be the guy, like the postal workers who go off. <laughs> oh, come on, And, like, you know, man. like, shoot 16 people. Yeah. yeah, okay. Everyone predicted it. I predicted somebody else at the station would be that guy. They're predicting you. Thank you. They see you're so glad, depressed. I'm glad people have a, such a high standard for me. Well, they just yeah. think you're going to be the one to snap. Because you're so depressed. I have nothing. You... <laughs> All right, take it easy, man. Yeah, don't yell at him. Hey! <laughs> I drew a cartoon of Scott the uh -huh. other day, and he had, like, cigarettes coming out of his ears, <laughs> out of his mouth, out of the top of his head. He had a blowhole out of his head. The smoke oh, was man. pouring out. And uh, it was pretty funny, you know? It just was Scott. Now when we draw cartoons of Scott, it's, he's like pig pen. He's got the smoke <laughs> coming up around him. <laughs> just being near you is hazardous to our health. Yeah. Okay. Secondhand Scott. <laughs> yeah, I got cancer from secondhand Scott. You know, I love when a guy goes. I love when he goes. I'm not depressed. <laughs> I'm not depressed. Everything's all right. Everything's okay. He's not depressed because he has a pack of butts waiting for him in his studio. Mm -hmm. Get something to look forward to. You know, we could watch him go into withdrawal. He said there a few minutes more. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you can barely breathe at this point. I hear. I hear the emphysema in his lungs. That's the way you could help him quit. What? Let's just make him sit in the corner here for four hours. He can't, he's already edgy. He wants a cigarette. Look. I can tell. Yeah. He's already ready for another one. He's going to break out in a sweat. Yeah. <laughs> Climb in the wall. I already seem like he doesn't know what to do with his hands. He's right. Like, he's, he's ready to lie up. He's around in the chair. Yeah. Just fidgety. Fidgety. Still got that special room in your house for smoking? Yeah. You guys only smoke in that room? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to have another room in the house? I'm going to buy an iron lung for his son. Get him ready now because it's got to, the secondhand smoke's got to be choking the kid. Yeah. But, you know, the whole point is Scott doesn't have that many rooms in the house. I know. you got to designate one for smoking. How many rooms do you have? Six. Is that including bathrooms? No. Six rooms, what? Two bedrooms? Three bedrooms. Three bedrooms. One's an office. An office? No. <laughs> you know, for his business. Oh, okay. An office. <laughs> Rocket Entertainment. I see. <laughs> a room with a phone. Yeah. It's Rocket Land. Rocket, Rocket Land. Land. <laughs> an office. A an room office. with a phone. What's in the office? All the equipment from the disco business and stuff? Equipment. Yeah. yeah. Suddenly, I'm a mogul. Yeah. Computers, <laughs> phones, you know. All the whole Computers, thing. too? For sure. Really? Oh, yeah. Big time. You're all computerized now? Certainly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, see what, you smoke in the office or? Uh, yeah. Oh, you do? That's so that's just. Constantly. Yeah. Making so in the, big deal. In your bedroom, you guys can't light up a cigarette no, after sex? We don't sex? smoke in the bedroom. You don't bedroom. at all. Even if you have sex and you want to have some cigarettes. Right. Whoa. I don't believe that. I'm telling you. So if you guys want a cigarette after, let's say you're laying in bed and you're watching TV. We don't smoke in the bedroom. Really? Yeah. 
So there's your bedroom. There's the office, Rocket mm -hmm. Entertainment office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the big office, yes. Is that where the phone sits for 718 bag 5040? That's it. Yeah. The phone. And uh, you've got another bedroom for your son. Right. That's three bedrooms. Right. Then you have a kitchen. Kitchen, dining room, and living room. Kitchen, dining room, and living room. And the dining room's got to be a little tiny li dining room, right? Mm, it's like not a tiny. a little adjunct to the uh, kitchen. Well, yeah, yeah. It's not an eating kitchen. It's like an L-shaped living room. Okay. Dining room. Right. Yeah, okay. okay, so that's so, like one big room. I'm calling that one. I'm saying there's five rooms. Right. Okay. <laughs> Excuse you me. You know, I've seen people call their dining rooms a room, but yeah. it's really the it's kitchen. It's just like, oh, here's the other room. Right. I didn't pass through a wall. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're eating breakfast and stuff, you can't smoke in the kitchen, right? Right. Wow. <laughs> I don't believe it. Okay. I'm not accepting it. He has no willpower to do that. Don't believe it. Okay. But I, you know what I think is happening? Yeah. He has to get all of his nicotine here. Right. Because it's so restrictive at home. Yeah, but he could just go into his rocket entertainment office and smoke. Yeah. But I'm the not, point not. is, you know, he doesn't want to be running in there every minute. Right. So what I don't he smoke does, every minute. You keep a TV in your office? You smoke every minute here. Scott, you're constantly lighting up. Okay. That means that somebody has to stay with the kid. So it's like tag team <laughs> smoke. Yeah, right. I'm going to go smoke. <laughs> You stay with the kid. They come out and smack your hands. Oh, maybe they both go and smoke and then just tell the kid, you know, he's on his own for a few minutes. He's sleeping. Let's go have a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> Wait, he's watching TV. Now we can have some cigarettes. Oh, it's man. Like when they that. really need a cigarette, they yeah. hit him with a hammer. It's, a, it's like the whole day. The whole day's planned around cigarettes. You know, it's like an itinerary of cigarettes. Go to sleep. Yeah, have a TV. In Time the for office. bed. We have to smoke cigarettes. <laughs> have a TV in the office. Unbelievable. Do you have a TV in the office? Yeah. So you can smoke and watch TV in there. Well, it's just for business. <sighs> you know, your son never wants to see you. No, I never get to see him. It's well, amazing. they get to see each other when his son gets to roll Scott cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> special cigarettes. Takes all the old butts and like drains them out and makes cigarettes. Yeah. I think I'm going to snap right now. <laughs> Isn't your son's name Nicky? Nicky Teen? <laughs> you should have named him after your favorite thing. Nicky Teen with you. <laughs> All right, Scott, go smoke. Thank Everybody, you. Have a good time. I'm telling you, he's going to be the one to start. You're going to see Scott on top of a tower shooting at people. He's going to be shooting at postal workers. No, uh, I think the first people I'm going to shoot are the people in here. All right, you see what I mean? Yeah. I think go. that, you know, what you really need to do is you need to go away for a month. You yeah. Know, and like a one retreat. Of those hospitals. One of those spas. Right, yeah. right, where you have to clean the toilets. Yeah, and yeah right. Stuff. Yeah, like where Chevy Chase goes to get off his drugs. <laughs> all right, very good. Thank you. Okay. Scott the engineer checking in with his cigarettes. Scott the addict. <laughs> yeah. He's addicted to food, cigarettes. Do you think he looks like those Marlboro commercials and pictures himself rugged and on a horse? Uh, <laughs> I think I think it's gone past that. Yeah, I mean I'm pretty sure Scott mostly is psychologically addicted, as most people are. And I just can't imagine why he needs that. I mean Well he keeps saying the stress, the stress, yeah, the stress. Yeah, you know, what stress is he under? <laughs> Scott, what stress are you under? <laughs> You know where Scott went last year on vacation? No, he went to the Philip Morris factory. Oh. Oh. He vacationed at Philip Morris. What stress is he on there? You would think the abuse in here is, would be the biggest motivating yeah. factor. I didn't mean to interrupt your cigarette, but... but uh, <laughs> did you light up already? No, I didn't light up. Um, Let's get him back to the factory. Should I go look at you? He lit up. Sure. Go ahead. No. He didn't have time to light up. What stress are you under? Seriously. We all have stress in our lives. I mean, you know. But, I mean, are you that? I mean. Yeah, what is, you, you know, I can see Howard being stressed out. Yeah. You're going to, you're more stressed than he is. I, I mean, you don't have a lot of pressure on you. All you got to do is, I mean, we don't put a lot of pressure on you. We don't. I didn't say that. I mean, all you got to do is roll those stupid tapes back there and edit stuff. Right. Right. You're right. True. I mean, I mean, it's not a high pressure position. You don't go home and go, oh, my God, I got to worry about what I'm going to edit tomorrow. There's no pressure here at work. I mean, there's some, but I'm... I, name one pressure you have at work. Seriously, a true pressure. You. <laughs> Why? I don't even... I don't think I've been down to see him in five months. No, I know that. Can't possibly he's, say he's me. He's wondering when that next visit's going to come. Yeah, maybe that's the pressure. <laughs> yeah, right. nervous I don't show up. Right. I can't take it's the gotta smell. got to happen soon. He hasn't been here in five months. I come down, I record a couple of commercials, like we're going to do the Chevy Chase bit, but that's not a big deal. And then, uh-oh... He'll have to produce it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And I mean, it's not a real high pressure. I mean, I produce stuff. It's not a real high pressure. <laughs> when you're screaming, why is it taking so long? Oh, but pressure. how often do I even do that to you? When's the last time you even produced something? A while ago. So where, yeah, where is the pressure? 
Is I it at home or is it at work? This pressure in everybody's life. I what mean, is you your know, pressure? That you're smoking so many cigarettes. <laughs> You say you're under stress. What's I want stress? to go into things. I, you know, I, you're having stress. You have a real I have stress. I mean, you know, stressful life. You have a very stressful life. You got a beautiful wife. I wouldn't. No, you I got a son. Yes, I do. You got I, a family. Yeah. You What's, got an apartment. Right. You got food on the table. Yes. You yes, got yes. your disco business. Yeah. Everything. I mean, should. Yeah. But I'm just under stress. <laughs> <laughs> under stress. What stress is there? What could be so bad that you're, you're you're with a cigarette every thirty seconds? You you probably I'm mentally addicted more than physically. Yeah, and you're and you're, you're stressed out over well, God knows what you know people with their stress. Right? Yeah, the stress. What is it? It's the guy who's got it made. That's right. I would love your life. I tell you something. You ever watch him smoke a cigarette? He really does go to heaven. He does. Oh, he like he a loves guy it. Smoking opium. He's like, I know. <laughs> I know. He's there with that thing. <laughs> he's a total prick. He's like, I'm too bad for a cigarette company. He is. He's like, yeah. totally at ease. Yeah. Calm smoke down. down. Calms right no. down. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get out of here. Yeah. Go, go with he your strap. Goes right to Salem country. It's, yeah, <laughs> Salem. What kind of what kind of cigarettes you smoking these days? Salem. Salem. He just got Salem. Oh no. Do you smoke Salem? No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be too cool. 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 I, I smoke Salem. Yeah. What uh, What are you smoking? Merits. Oh yeah, Little. cutting down on that tar. I've always smoked those. Yeah. That's that's why you smoke so many. Yeah. You smoke merit. You gotta like you gotta smoke fifty cigarettes to equal Might as well one. Just take a regular cigarette. Why don't you just get a good cigarette like a Marlboro? You know what's a great cigarette? Uh, cools. They are great cigarettes. I don't like menthol. And no. cools are menthol. So. Yeah, I know. I used to smoke those. So then get yourself a Marlboro. Yeah. You smoke Camels, the non-filter. Then you don't oh, want yeah. it to smoke as many. And I'll just yeah, that's right. Yeah. Died ten years earlier. I mean, you're smoking three thousand merits a day. You can well, smoke ten camels. Well, you're obviously not enjoying life. It's too stressful. All right. <laughs> well, yeah, why do you want to live? Here. All right, Scott, get out of here. Nobody cares about you anyway. <laughs> okay. All right, goodbye. Scott, the engineer, checking in. Seven one eight bag fifty forty. If you want him smoking at your uh, wedding. <laughs> How does he? Uh, does he smoke up the wedding? <laughs> no, I think he goes outside. Oh, okay. He's very respectful when he does the disco business. Well, I wish he'd respect us. No, no, can't do that. <laughs> I got to take a break. We'll be right back after these words. The Howard Stern Show. K E G L, Fort Worth, Dallas. 97.1. The Eagle. 656 at the Eagle. This is Brad Baxter. It's 659 at the Eagle. This is Brad Baxter, and you are listening to the best of the Howard Stern Show this morning. And in this segment, Howard was playing some tapes of John Lennon on the old Mike Douglas show, and it led to this discussion of Yoko Ono. It's the best of Stern on 97.1. 